Hello everybody and happy Wednesday. I am unannounced because I did not know when I was going to be able to go live. I have been working the last three days on my tomatoes. I had um, purchased three bushels of tomatoes, Roma tomatoes to be exact, to get um, going with my tomato press to make my tomato sauce that um, we use quite a bit throughout the year. So um, I am happy to say, yay, I am now done. I'm just waiting for the last of the jars to cool. I'm so super excited about that. Um, three bushels of tomatoes turned into 43 uh, jars of tomato sauce of different sizes. Uh, hello, Tanya, Marianne, Debbie, thanks for joining me. So um, I'm not cooking supper tonight. I texted Brad and said, hey, I'm done. <laughs> so it's going to be a takeout night. So we are going to order when I am done with you lovely ladies here. So this has arrived today. It is the um, September paper pumpkin kit called Hello Pumpkin. And I haven't even unwrapped it. I was just so excited um, to receive this. And I thought, let's go on now because I can guarantee after supper, I am going to be done. So I wanted to make sure that I came on and shared with you guys. So here is the very pretty box. I think my camera is maybe a little low today, but we are going to work with it. So here we go. Okay, so Cajun Craze is our color. Hello, Jeannie, and here is our stamp set. So it is, um, I don't even have a piece of cardstock here to grab to tuck behind that, just here. All right, so there we go, so you guys can see. So we have a um, witch's hat with a pumpkin and flowers. We have a pumpkin and then the jack-o'-lantern face here and here. And then, okay, so give thanks. Hello, pumpkin, trick or treat, spooky and sweet. Have a happy Halloween. So how cute is that? All right, so. And then uh, the sign up for the um, October paper pumpkin is going on right now. Hello, Jeannie. Thank you for sharing. Um, so it's going on right now. So um, if you head on over to my um, website and click on that paper pumpkin icon, you can subscribe to um, the next month's kit with me as your demonstrator. I didn't even say, for those of you that have not been here before, hello, uh, my name is Marcy Denning and I am Stampin' with Marcy. I'm a independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. So, um, yeah, I'm a little, I'm tired today. Three days of um, non-stop um, canning is, is a lot when you get to be a certain age, I have to say. Um, when I was in my 30s and 40s, it was so much easier. Now that I am halfway through my 50s, yes, it is. It is a little tiresome, so I'm pretty sure by 8 p.m. tonight, <laughs> I may be unconscious. Yeah, I might be like, okay, is it acceptable for me to go to bed yet? So, how is everybody doing? How is your week going? All right, so we're opening up our package. Taking all the plastic off here. All right, so 
Um, we have black and white Baker's twine. We've got some adhesive strips, some glue dots, and then of course, dimensionals. How cute are these boxes? So we've got the one side is the Cajun craze and the other is the pumpkin pie. Very, very cute. All right, oh, look at this. We've got kitty cats and black flowers. So we've got two of those. Oh, these are very pretty. So we've got two of these, the um, curly cues, and then this, um, the opposite side is white. So, oh, we could sponge that. Another color if we chose. And then we've got these sheets of our um, leaves and flowers and they are all the same. So we've got four of these. All right, and then, oh, look at how pretty these labels are. I like this scalloped and stitched. Wow, a lot in this month's kit. And actually, I didn't even get all my kits. Um, it said they were all delivered, but I'm short on two. You got yours today as well, uh, Mary. Awesome. Okay, and then, oh, look at this witch's hat. Oh, I like that. Kind of reminds me of the sorting hat from Harry Potter, the way this um, little um, kink at the top is. Super cute. Oh, and some pumpkins and labels again lots wowzers there is so much in here oh and then more of the um curly cues that's what i'm calling them all right and then we've got more of these so pretty so where is my oh here we go Get my instruction. Oh, how adorable. So cute. Let, let me move over. I'm looking down. I'm not even looking to see where, um, where it's showing. Hello, Sharon. You're opening yours with me as well. You haven't gotten yours yet, Jeannie? Oh, that's too bad. I'm hoping my other two that they shorted me arrive tomorrow. FedEx did not, um, FedEx said that it was all delivered, but they were fibbing because they're not all here. So, because this month I ordered a couple extras for um, people who see the kit and go, oh man, I wish I had have ordered it. So, um, yes, so we've got our measuring ruler at the bottom and then our photos to put them together. So this is going to be a little detailed here, getting everything out. So we're going to do one of each. So Jackie got hers as well. Hello, Di. All right. So I'm going to put the others aside. Although I will do one Thanksgiving here, you just know that I'm going to do the rest in Halloween. All right, so let's do the Thanksgiving one first. So, oh, and on the back, we've got some adorable um, alternate projects. Very, very cute. Oh, look at they've colored the hat. The opposite side, so sweet. Okay, so go by my visual here. So I need for the fall one, we need to give thanks. Now, what are these curly cues supposed to go on? I'm looking and I'm not really seeing where you're supposed to put Unless my vision is going bad, which could be after all of the tomatoes. I guess they're just supposed to layer underneath your pumpkins. So, all right.
right. So let's grab Hello Pumpkin and then I know it's probably a mistake pulling that out ahead of time, but you know, oh well. Okay, so get rid of these. So we don't need those at the moment. This is going to be so much fun to create alternative projects with. All right, so. Move the hats. And we don't need those, but we do need some one of these flowers and one of these flowers. All right. And then Okay, I can see some curly cues behind, so oh, one of my curly cues is falling out. Oh, here it is. So we're going to use this, and we're going to use this one. So an update for my achieving the trip. I am $500 away. That is a huge, huge jump from last, on Saturday, I needed um, $2,200. So I have really come a long way and I just wanna say thank you so very much. I am so incredibly um, thankful and um, grateful beyond belief for all of the support that's been pouring in to help me. Um, I'm just popping out here, earn my trip. And I am hoping, oh, I'm hoping that um, the trip actually goes forward, that we don't um, have to postpone it yet again. All right, so. Oh, I didn't grab one of these little ones down here. All right. I think that's all of those. And one of those and one of those. Okay, so. Um, let's take a look. Give thanks. All right, so let's put that one on a block. <clears throat> so I had the dentist text me today to tell me that next, next week is my annual checkup, but I canceled. I told them I am certainly not ready for that. Um, having my mouth open. I know there's, they're really good and um, have taken incredible precautions and all that. But you know what? I'm just, I'm not ready for something like a dental appointment that's just a little too up close and personal for me so I canceled it and said I'm sorry but um, we're gonna have to do that down the road are any of you guys like that <laughs> a big order of glue dots and oh yes um, well, I've already ordered a bunch of uh, my liquid glue because I go through that a lot. So I ordered um, a bunch of, oh, you know, these could be something fun on a card. Look at that. A 
across the bottom. Hmm. Don't throw those out, guys. Um, yeah, so I had already ordered a bunch of liquid glue for myself because it is my adhesive of choice. But yes, I do believe that I will be um, placing an order for some... Oh, this shows that it's supposed to be... Well, they're showing that it's on this one here that it's white, but we're doing it in this um, color here. Yeah, I'll be getting some seal and seal plus and all that kind of stuff. If I, didn't the kit come with pigs? Um, I don't see any pigs die unless I, yeah, cause it's cats, hats, and your pumpkins. There are no pigs in this unless, unless uh, Jackie created, I don't know. Hello, Vicki. Thanks for joining. Okay, so as always, I have cleaned my stamp in case there's any um, stuff on it from manufacturing and shipping. So I'm just inking up and stamping off on my grid paper so that I can see that I have a nice clear stamped image. There's no leftover whatever's on it. So hold my breath while I stamp that. It's a smidge low, but I can live with that. All right, so that's the only stamping I'm going to do on that. So let's build this. I guess this is a build it however you want. Now is that? Let's fold this so that I can see. How yep, that's going to be okay. that's pretty big. Maybe I should choose another pumpkin. What do you think? <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> oh, curly tails. No, 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 no. That's just curly cues. No piggies. <laughs> All right, so let's, I have never done one of these type of um, cracker boxes. Have you guys ever created one from a template or anything? I have not, so I'm not quite sure how I'll be putting this together. It's going to be an adventure. All right, so then we're just gonna fold and burnish on all these lines. Just folding. All right, now this end. Bone folder comes in so super duper handy with this. And remember that I'm going to be going live on Friday night at 7 p.m. on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, to um, announce the winner of... Okay, so it's just going to go like this and this. Let's just take a look. All right, so we're supposed to put... 
adhesive right here, one of those strips. Can you see that? Right along there, the outside flap, and close the folded edge. So, so if I put it there, and then, that makes it too small. All right, I'm gonna put it here and fold it like that. So I'm gonna put it there and I'm not gonna use what they gave. I'm gonna pull out my Seal Plus and I'm going to As you can see, it comes out in, can you see that, perforation strips. I think it's picking it up there. And then, I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, but you know, like I said, I have never created one of these boxes before. So, it's an adventure. Trying to get it seam to seam. There we go. Oh, shoot. I just, there. I moved it. Come on, stick, you silly thing. All right. I will get better at this, I promise. <laughs> oh, Marcy being tired. And... Just jumping right on, and seriously. All right, this is why I like my li liquid glue. All right, so. Wipe my hand off over here. Now we have it, and I'm gonna take my bone folder and slip that in and press. Mary, you're doing yours at the same time as me. Tell me you're having a better time than I am assembling this. Okay, so what are we supposed to put inside? Um, well, let's see what... I fibbed and told Danielle that she was craving chocolate. And I said, no, we don't have any chocolate left in the house. <laughs> All right, so you saw that a little, um, one of those little arrow snack size bars fits in from the Halloween um, Is that going to close up? Yep. A little box of the um, Smarties is going to fit inside. Or you, if you've got some Hershey's Kisses or um, some wrapped candies, anything like that is going to fit in there. So, all right. So since that is done, let's take... and tie up the one end so it's tied. Hello, Sandy, thank you for joining us. All right, so. I'm gonna tie a bow at this end here I can adjust that after. All right, so, oh my goodness, I've got fumble fingers. <laughs> this is gonna be like quite the adventure, ladies. My goodness. <laughs> All right, so take my snips. 
All right, so there's the one end. Okay, so now that it, that is secured. All right, so we are going to build our little, I don't know how much of this is gonna stick out though. So if this is on here like this, so if we go with, okay, yeah, all right, so. I'm just going to, oh, that's stuck to my sticky fingers. All right, so then put like that. And actually, I think I want two of that color. So let's go back in my box here, find where those curly cues are. Oh, and there's Miss Maisie. I apologize if you have a dog at home or a cat if they're uh, hearing Miss Maisie and kind of going a little crazy with her barking. All right, so I'm going to put a dot of glue there. And then, see, do I like the way that's going to, yes. All right. And then let's take some yellow leaves. So then we're going to go so that it's just kind of popping like that, and then one down below. Oh, and I hope you didn't hear my stomach just growled. <laughs> I guess I am kind of getting ready for my supper. All right, and then let's put an orange flower as we build away. Now there's no bling in here, but you know if you've been following me, you know I do like my bling. So I'm thinking just a little rhinestone there might be super cute. Okay, so, and I think I just wanna have that at the one end. So let's figure, is this dry enough to lift? No. Just might take your pick. Flip this around, use the spatula end. All right, so if I'm going to put that there, oh, that's going to be so cute. All right, so we're just going to take and put. Some dabs of glue, and we're going to tuck that right there, that corner, so that we've got some of that coming out there, because then it's going to be like that. I like it. All right, so then I want to get a couple of my dimensionals here. Where is my full sheet? I don't see it on here. So we're gonna grab some of the babies. Move that out of the way. Just three across the middle. Give that a press. Oh, I need to flip that over. All right. You're going to watch me to get the bugs out. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, so then we're going to just pop that like that. And then And you know what? I don't like that on there. So let's change to let's pull out move this stuff out of my way. Pull this back in. And let's stamp our give thanks on this. And now that I've got all of my canning done, I'll take a photo of my shelf once the cooled jars get up there. Now that it's all done, I am definitely going to have time to play with um, this and create some fun alternatives. Because I am really liking this kit with all its different yeah I like that better cute 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 all right so let's give it a pop-up as well so one two hopefully that ink is dry pop those off and My ink is not quite dry. You can see I've smudged there just a bit. Now, I think it needs a little sparkle. So, um, let's pull out, ooh, the Holiday Rhinestones. This is not included in the, um, these are not included, but look at how that is just going to make it pop. So, whoa, my glue is really runny tonight. Holy camoly. All right, get off of there, you little. There. All right. Oh, that would be fun, Sharon, putting a little collectible toy. Yeah, going into... Um, Going into the dollar store to find something to put in, that would be, all right, I'm doing something I never do. I'm just gonna cut there because this is an awkward shape. So, all right. I love the way that it looks with that, um, with the rhinestone on it. The pumpkin pie rhinestone from the holiday rhinestone packet. All right. Okay, so here is our give thanks. What do you guys think? I think it is super cute and fun. Okay. Let's do a Halloween one. Okay, let's gather up all these leaves and move them to the side. So, what do we want? Have a happy Halloween, trick or treat, spooky and sweet. Okay, let's, um, Let's do this one. Let's do the, I want to do the one with the witch hat. So I think, yeah, they don't have a witch hat. Um, their witch hat is on the, the um, Cajun Craze one. 
but okay so put this on my block give it a, give it a little bit of a scrub on my chamois okay so then let's pull out all right so open this back up Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I think it does add just that little bit more. So um, I would say go and take a look at what you've got in your supplies to, um, to add to it. And I'm thinking with the orange one, when I go to do my alternate projects I am thinking I'll be using some um, gorgeous grape orange and purple look so fabulous together I think so that will be fun to pair that and with all of these other little bits and bobs that are um, with it so we need that Let's actually take a look at the instructions here. So um, we've got, as you can see, we need a little pumpkin, a flower, the hat, and a um, one of these. So where is that cute witch's hat in my box of stuff here? So here is my little pumpkins and there they are. Yeah, these are so adorable. All right. One of those. One of those. can actually lose this we don't need the pierce mat we do need this so we are going to have it so that it um, make sure I'm in camera view and then the hat kind of on an angle And then we need a flower. Um, let me see. Oh, I have a yellow flower right here. Okay, so then. That would go like that. Only this has got to be a smidge higher as to what they've got. So, cute, cute, cute. All right, so let's get some. What I'm going to do is just put a couple dots on here. We don't need a lot to get this on. So... Move this stuff out of the way. All right. And before I, oh, not quite stuck. I want to make sure that it's centered and straight. Although, if there's any time of year that it doesn't matter if your um, elements are a little wonky, I would say it would be Halloween. And then I'm going to pull out, because I never remember to use them, my black dimensionals. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here and I'm guesstimating here um, as to where. I don't want to put it on here because then if I go to peel it off and then it's um, not in the right spot. So okay. So let's put our hat. And I like it kind of angled. That's just me. All right, and then we're going to put a dot of glue. And I'm just going to take and slide my flower right up like that. So it's just peeking and kind of framing that, um, framing the uh, H. All right, so then just a little glue here. Now you can have fun and put these together however you want. Um, all right, so let's grab our Hopefully this one goes together a little bit better than the first one for me. Now that I know all right, so fold and burnish on all the score lines. That's nice and so I don't know if you guys remember me talking a while ago about my mole problem. We have not been able to get rid of that pest. Oh my goodness, it is just what he has done to my yard is insane. So then it's just going to fold like that. So like, um, I think it needs to be, so my adhesive needs to be right along there. So I'm just going to, but then I'm going to go all the way over. Um, I don't know what to do. There's so many holes. I can't find the main hole. Um, Damon cut the grass the other day and said, oh my gosh, the backyard is just a disaster. I stepped and thought I was going to sink right down. Now I am wondering if, does anybody know, if we were to get somebody to come in, you know how in the spring you get your yard rolled? If we were to have somebody come in, would that collapse all of their tunnels and get rid of them? I don't know, but I'm kind of frustrated with the whole thing. All right, so that went much quicker because I knew what I was doing that time. 
Hello, Brenda. Hello, Tammy. Hello, Melissa. All right, so... Melissa, I see you went and got your porch kit. I don't know. Am I supposed to put adhesive all the way to the ends? I don't think so, because that would... Let me... Hold, please, while I check. Yeah, they're just showing it right here, so... Um, you got your porch kit from Heeman's. I've never been to Heeman's. I think I might have to go and have a looky at that. I have a new um, fall wreath coming. Um, I had asked somebody who had made my beautiful Christmas wreaths, and I have a Halloween wreath from her. I had inquired about getting a new fall wreath, and she never got back to me. So my sister up in Kingston area has um, gotten a few beautiful wreaths from... Um, a lady up there so Carol told me the um, her Facebook page and um, I looked and I ordered one Carol is coming to Sarnia this weekend for her grandson Grayson's birthday they're having a immediate family only birthday get-together so um, I said that I could meet Carol on the highway for a um, and I have one turn off or something like that and grab my um, beautiful new wreath. I'll have to take a photo, but I will um, post her post her name if anybody's interested. No, it's not Strathroy, but. I did try for the Strathroy, and it uh, just didn't work out, so how many do I need on here? One, two. Is that going to work? Yes. Okay. And three. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite excited, so I want to do my, I want to do my um, front porch up. Melissa's front porch is always so gorgeous. I may have to get Melissa to come and put my porch together. <laughs> oh, I'm getting lots of pausing on the streaming. Oh, so sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so, um, let's see, do we want the same colored rhinestone? Oh, you know what I could do? Let me grab my black, my basic black. We used to have black rhinestones and we don't anymore. So, because the navy blue is already um, a dark, I wonder if I was to go over that, it would, um, hmm, that's kind of cool. All right, so can you see that? I've turned my blue into a black rhinestone. So, we're gonna put that right there. All right, I should be giving this a bit more time to dry, but, all right. Oh, that's cute. There you have the two adorable little um, treat crackers is that what they're called yeah so you're good you're not having a problem either Ta Tanya Tanya 
Tammy's good. All right, so that is this month's paper pumpkin kit. So cute. Um, I will have two extras um, for sale. Um, I hope. <laughs> I hope FedEx comes back tomorrow and delivers my two others that they did not deliver today. Okay, that doesn't want to sit still. So let's put it this way. All right. There. So that is it for me today. Uh, thank you, Sharon. It um, it may um, it may have been a bit may have been a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a oh at the start, but we got through it. Um, I really like the way that looks with the uh, curly cues in that as well. So much fun. So um, I'd love to see what you guys do with yours. So. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful Wednesday evening. And remember, I am almost there to earning my um, Maui incentive trip. So if you are needing anything, if you're in Canada and you need some adhesive or dimensionals or anything like that, please shop my online store and help me achieve my uh, goal. I would so appreciate it. And every $50 order before tax and shipping will be going into the draw for my um, many marvelous markers that I'm giving away on Friday night. And as well, um, that's before shipping and tax. On October 1st, I will be drawing for a stamp and cut emboss machine. Um, so um, you could you could be a very lucky winner, and you could win both um, if you place a fifty dollar order. So yeah, uh, so thank you so much, and I will um, see you on Friday evening. Hello, Melissa. I will see you on Friday evening on YouTube, not here on Facebook, on YouTube. Um, so thank you so much, and um, I'm going to go order some supper. Bye for now.